On this tutorial, I will be explaining about ID Mask and CryptoMat on Radium Pro Render for Maya. Object ID, Material ID, and CryptoMat is a color AOV that is used as mask during composition. These AOV will help you adjust more during composition. So let's get started. Step 1 Object ID. Object ID can create one tone color for each object. In order to set an ID, go to the first tab and open Extra Attribute. You will see something like this. You can set IDs manually or open Render Settings and the AOV tab to randomly set mask for each object. If you want to set same IDs for, let's say for doors for example, you can also do that by setting the same IDs on the door object. Let me show you one with Attribute Spreadsheet. Go to Windows, General Editors, Attribute Spreadsheet, and select the object you want to change IDs on. Change the All tab and search for RPR and you will see only Object ID Attribute on the Spreadsheet. Change the ID to same as the top one in order to avoid conflict with other IDs. There we go, we got the same IDs on selected object. If you want to separate IDs per material, you can also do that by applying material ID. Let me just add random IDs first. Step 2, material ID. This is same as object ID. It will create color for each material. You can set material ID by opening Hypershade and take a look at the shaders group extra attribute. And you can also set IDs manually here. When rendering out, you should have something like this. But if you're going with animation render, there is an easy feature other than object ID or material ID, which is CryptoMat. It is the same as object ID and material ID but there are no need to set up any IDs as they are generated automatically. This feature will only work on multi-layer EXR and not PNG, JPEGs, or single-layered EXR. They will need to be multi-layer EXR. They are a format that includes all AOV into one EXR file, which is good for organizing files, but sacrificing the file size. Although CryptoMat is hard to see in Maya's render view, you can also check if the mask worked through Blender Compositor or any other composition software. But unfortunately, I will not get into how to do composition as this is not part of the tutorial. That will be all for this part. Thank you for watching.